in existing homes, there's really very few choices for wall insulation. They either blow in cellulose or they inject some sort of foam insulation. Those are your only two choices. Um, cellulose is a good insulator, but it has some drawbacks, especially in the fact that if it gets damp or moist, it will stay damp or moist, and it can hold moisture in the wall. Um, Cost-wise, cellulose for wall insulation is the cheaper product. And I'm not going to say that one product is necessarily better than another. The spray or injected foam, it tends to run three times more expensive than the cellulose. Yeah, two to three times, depending on who you get. But cost and cost benefit, you know, if you're just looking at saving money, the cellulose is the better investment. Um, if you're looking at, you know, living in the home for 50 years, maybe now you're thinking the foam is the better investment because the foam won't settle, it won't be susceptible to moisture, and it's going to continue to provide insulation at a very uh, good value over what the cellulose might be 50 years down the road. So a lot depends, again, on the time frame of what you're looking at. You want to save money for the short term or you want to invest in your home for the long term? All those are questions that, you know, are, are legitimate and you need to know how to ask those questions to the installations uh, provider.